Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Maraka basala tetashka. Maraka sibala tabashke tetebele pete. Robo shele ketebe sakaya. Robo sheke baladoshka. Rebe zekete shkara baladada. Robo sebele ketebe shara bara balakete. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Mareke balakata basha. Makara baba zeketa. Thank you, thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you, sir. Thank you. Good morning. <laughs> God bless you, sir. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, Jesus. Rabba seke beleketeshka. Robo ze belakata daroshele belekete. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. If the water streams, all the Lord is doing. Yes, it's my reality. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. It's your reality. Yes. Thank you, sir. Yes, Lord. Thank you. We thank God. Hallelujah. It's a new level. It's another morning of 30 minutes of soaking in His presence. There's no better place to be than in His presence. The cold or no cold, we're going to worship God. So don't worry about my voice. Don't worry about anything yes amen the lord strengthens me this is what this is how you know when you're doing what god wants you to do the enemy is going to come in like a flood but you know what the lord will always lift up a standard against it and so by his the job the lord is my strength so he is your strength hallelujah thank you spirit of the living god we bless you father we extol you this morning praise words for you O god in zion Praise waits for you, O God in Zion. We worship you, Jesus. You reign supreme in all the earth. We bless you, Jesus. We glorify you. Oh, Rabba Lekede Sakataya. Who is like unto thee, O God, among other gods? Who is like thee, glorious in holiness, fearful in praises? You are doing wonders, O God. Thank you. Thank you, Most High God. Thank you, Jesus. I will bless the Lord at all times, and His praises shall continually be in my mouth. Can you lift up your voice and begin to praise Him this morning? It's a new season. It's a new level. Rako shebelekete, emalika doshete. We made it into a new month. In this new year, it is the grace of God. It is the mercy of God. Father, we bow before You, and we say thank You. Rabazika kalada. Thank you, God, for your sustaining grace, for your sustaining grace. Thank you. It's not because we are worthy. It's not because we are better. It's not because we deserve it, but it's by your mercy and your grace. We are products of your mercy. We are products of your grace. We are absolutely nothing without you. Oh, Father, we glorify you. Lord, we glorify you. From the rising of the sun, to the going down of the same, the name of our God is to be praised. For thou, O Lord, art a shield for me. You are the you are the glory and the lifter up of our heads. Can you open up your mouth and begin to bless the Lord this morning? David said, I will. He made up his mind. I will bless the Lord. Doesn't matter what I'm going through, I will bless the Lord. Psalms 34, I will bless the Lord at all times, whether it's good, whether it's bad, whether it's working, whether it's not working working uh, whether you got a cold or you are fine uh, he says i will bless the lord uh, maleka ka whether i have it whether i don't have it uh, i will bless the lord at all times uh, whether i feel like doing it or i don't feel like doing it uh, maleka kushenege. i will bless the lord uh, he was intentional can you be intentional this morning and raise up your hands and bless your daddy bless god he is good 
and his mercies. Oh, give thanks unto God because he is good. Rabo Seketeya. Not because of the things he has done or the things you think he would do or give to you, but because he is good, because he is God. Balako Sikataya. Rebeku Kaleketeya. Oh, give thanks unto God for his good and his mercy endures forever. Maleka Shata, the steadfast love of our God never ceases. His mercy never comes to an end for they are new every morning. Great is his faithfulness. Oh, Shadaba. Oh, Lord, we bless you from the rising of the sun to the going down of the same. The name of our God is to be praised. The name of our God is to be praised. The name of our God is to be praised. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we bless you. Oh God, we thank you. When we look back at where you brought us from, where you've taken us from, Lord, we realize that we cannot but give you thanks. Rabba Sekete. It's a new level. It's a new season. It's a new day. Oh, Gogozila Balekete Balikata. Doors of opportunities are opened unto us. You may not have been known up to now, but from this very moment, because the glory of God has arisen upon you, because it's a new season and God is doing a new thing, He says, Forget the former things. Behold, I am doing a new thing. Do you not recognize it? Can you not see it? Are your eyes not open to see that I'm doing a new thing? Lord, we bless you. We bless you, Lord. I'm going to go back and play this song, but I'm hearing this song in my spirit. We bless you, Lord. You are holy, and forever you are God. Yes, Lord. Oh, my Father, my King, my Love. We bless the Lord. You are holy, holy God, and forever you are God. Yes, my Lord. Oh, bow before your throne. Ah. Worship at your feet, yes, Lord. John the angels, John the 24 elders, John the four living creatures, John the fathers of faith, John the matriarchs of faith, bow before your throne. You are the glorious God, yes, Lord. I bow before you, Daddy. I worship at your feet, yes, my Lord. I bow before your throne. You are the glorious God. Glorious. Yeah, 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 yeah. Beautiful King. Yes, my Lord. Excellent God. Hey. I bow before your throne. If you leave me at the altar with my father, there's no better place that will be. There's no better place I'd rather be. Glorious God, a eh, Maculia, oh sweet Jesus, beautiful King, yes Lord, Rabababa, Rebeselekete, excellent God, eh, yeah, 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 yeah. I bow before Your throne. I'm seeing the word wonder. I'm seeing the word wonder. Holy Ghost, Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing the word wonder. I never see this kind of God before. Wonder, 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 wonder. Hey, daddy, hey, my leg is The Lord is doing things that will blow your mind in this season because you choose to honor him by coming into his presence, by soaking in his presence. This is the place you'd rather be before you begin to do anything else. For those of us who are here in Ottawa, Canada, you know, it's still very early in the morning. And so it's more like God, your presence first before anything else. And for those of you in any part of the world, I'm sure you took time out to, to worship the king before you, you know, first thing first in the morning, before you set out to do anything. It's very important to soak in his presence. It's very important to to, to stay in his presence before you set out for the day. Because as you soak in his presence, you are 
and causing things to align to God's purpose for your life for the day. You are setting your day right. Malika kuzebelekete. Rabo zikatosha. There is no place I'd rather be at, but in the presence of God. I'd rather stay here than be in the midst of, of you know, of rich people and wealthy people who do not cherish the presence of God. I'd rather stay here than be in the company of men, great men and women who do not cherish the presence of God. We would rather stay here for there's no words to say but just to stay at your feet. Yes, Lord. Rabo Sikata. Lift up your voice out of your belly. Raise your praise this morning unto your Father for you are good and your mercy is forever. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah, my God, my God. You are good and your mercy is forever. Hallelujah, my God. Ah, Father, we bless you. We worship you. God is taking me back to the song I started with. We bless the Lord. You are faithful. Yes. And forever you are God. Yes, my Lord. Ah, thank you, Jesus. We bless you, Lord. You are faithful. Faithful, Lord. And forever you are God. The Lord is taking me back to the scripture. Because while we were worshiping earlier, I saw the word wonder. You know, and as I'm praying in my spirit, I'm just worshiping God. And then this scripture comes into my spirit. Just what we read earlier in the week. George chapter 2, verse 28. This verse 28a. And I see the Lord your God. And I will show wonders in the life of Gabriel. In the life of Bishop Drama. In the life of Jeff, in the life of Apostle Konde Ayoteji, in the life of Rhoda Joseph, in the life of the Joseph generation, in the life of my family, I will show wonders in the heavens and the earth. We bless you, Lord, you are faithful. Yes, my God. And forever you are God, my God. We bless you, Daddy, you are faithful, and forever you are God. Thank you. Hallelujah, 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 you are God. <laughs> hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, you are God. I don't know what instruction God has given you this year, what he told you to start doing, and you are afraid to take the step of faith. Today receive strength. Today you are empowered on this altar of his mercy and grace. Receive strength. Receive boldness to start. I'm saying this because I'm feeling you strong in my spirit that some of us God has spoken to us there's something he wants us to do but the experiences of the past is weighing you down fear of men or what men will say is weighing you down you know what people will think about you is weighing you down you don't even believe in yourself you know but God is saying I've given you this assignment I'm going to back you up. I'm in Yoruba language. It's he will back you up. He's your support. He's with you. Don't be afraid. Take that step. Do what God has called you to do. I start, This is day 8 of 30 minutes soaking in his presence. I didn't think I'd be able to do this. But I thank God for the 
you know the the grace and you know being able to to just connect to his heart and it gives me strength day after day like i said don't mind the cold or don't worry about the voice god is speaking and singing through me and you know for some of you you might have challenges but don't let the challenges stop you from doing what god has called you to do and so this morning i'm just a vessel in the hands of the father he do he will do whatever you know he decides to do on this altar this morning and so while i was uh you know i literally woke up with this song in my spirit now god gives me sounds most of the songs that you see that by the mercy of god that have been released um that i released the first one we thank you jehovah that song I, it was in a dream i don't know why i'm talking about this now <laughs> it was in a dream and there were so many people and things were going on and i kept hearing a man on the side telling me to tell the people to get ready it's time for church but there were just so much chaos this one was talking that one was talking and this is arguing i was arguing nobody was listening and i kept trying to get them to say guys get ready it's time for ch church it's time for church but it was chaos but you know what this man when he stood up you know he was so tall so tall my god i've seen whenever i've i've had encounters like this very similar and that god has trained me to know when he is literally physically present in my dream very tall and he began to sing we thank you thank you jehovah for all the things you've done we say thank you this morning can you open your mouth and say we thank you oh i thank you thank you jehovah for all the things you've done we say thank you he was just and i and he was singing and i joined him to sing and i was singing with him singing with him and then i woke up singing that song and i recorded it you know same with iriayo you know i got joy i literally heard angels singing that song in my sleep and i woke up and I found myself singing it along with them in the realm of the spirit. And I woke up with a sound in my spirit and I recorded it. Now, this is the way sometimes it might just be a song that's just playing, you know, in. Like I could just hear like in my spirit, just playing in my heart, in my mind. Not because I have music playing somewhere. No. I didn't even sleep with that music. And, you know, so that's, that's the, that's some of the things that i've i've learned i'm still learning in my walk with the lord when it gives there's a sound in my spirit and i woke up with that sound or in the place of prayer i'm asking the lord what sound and it drops a sound in my spirit now just this, this morning i was hearing this sound playing in the realm of the spirit like literally while i woke up i was hearing you know a song credit goes to auntie sinach i love you man god bless you i was hearing there's an overflow, you know. It was it it was as if someone was playing the tape in my heart and in my mind. It was playing like you know something that's flowing like water. It was just peaceful. I was hearing the sound. There's an pouring of abundance. Ah, my God! And this kalaba, as as I sang these words, I just felt. I just felt something. Kalosha. Eh, shatata rebekete. New doors. Yes, Lord. Have been opened. It's not a song. It's a, it's a prophetic declaration. The land. Yes. It is green. Ah, my God. We receive it, Lord. New grace. Come on, say. Has been released. Thank you, Lord Jesus. The glory of the ladder 
is greater than the Father. The blessing is here. Come on. I feel this song in my spirit so strong. And guess what? That part of the song was, when I woke up, it, it stayed there. It's like God put a, a loop around that part of the song. The glory of the latter is greater than the former. The blessing is he. It's all he. Now let's take the song one after the other from that part. The glory of the latter is greater than the former. It means what God is about to do in my life, in your life. Kalipa Shedea, Makose. In my family, in the body of Christ, in the nations of the earth, the glory of the latter shall be greater than the former. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It means, just like Job experienced, his letter was beautiful than his former. I don't know what you went through in the past. I don't know what you lost relationships i don't know what you lost maybe finances i don't know what you lost maybe you know whatever it is i don't know what you lost but god is saying the glory of the latter i don't know what you went through the pains you went through the the, the you know I, I i don't know what it is but he's saying to you that the glory of the latter what I'm about to do in your life and in my life in this season is far greater than what you have seen before. The glory of the latter. What I'm about to, hey, Holy Ghost, you see, you see, this is, this is, this is, I, what, what I just, what I just saw, what I just saw right now is, I saw the Lord just Kai Shalaba. The Lord just took me back to many years ago when a minister of God, I can't remember his name now, he's a popular, he's a popular minister of God. He was actually the one who he was ministering, you know, um, on behalf of Daddy Geo at one of the Canada Arusisuji Convention. And he's a drama minister. Um, his daughter is married to um, Pastor Mike Bamiloye's son. His daughter is married to J. Mikey. So it's her dad that the Lord just brought his picture. If anybody can help me with his name. Oh my God. The Lord just brought his picture to me. Many years ago when he was ministering in Canada, in Toronto. And um, a prophetic word was released. Kai. Oh, Shalaba. <laughs> my God. And he said, for somebody in this place, what God is about to do would daze your enemies. It would daze your enemies. He said some things before that. But this is the part that God is bringing to me. And hopefully I'm able to remember the rest of it before the, you know, the streaming ends. Um, and so, what God is, Haya Shaba. What God is about to do, especially because hey, you've tarried in his presence. You've sought his heart and not his hands. You are not seeking after what God would give you, but you're seeking after what pleases him. You are the Mary that seek to sit at the feet of Jesus. You are like John the Baptist that choose to always put your head on the chest of the master. You are not looking for what he will give you. You just want to feel the heart of Jesus. And you want to do what pleases him. This is the... Look, God wants to show you that he is... He has heard that cry. Even if you weren't talking about it. Even if you weren't specific about those things. God says, I know the things that have been troubling your spirit. But you chose to worship me in spite of those issues. You chose to honor me. You chose to serve me in spite of the pain. Now it's my turn to honor you. He says, what I'm about to do with these, your enemies. It will so, it will so surprise them. <laughs> the glory of the latter shall be greater than the former. What God is about to do for those that love him. 
all things work together for good to them that love the Lord and are called according to his purpose. Let's move on. The glory of the latter is greater than the former. The blessing is here. I don't know what you've been praying for. I don't know what you've been asking the Lord for. God says, remember, I didn't, God blew the song in my spirit. And I'm just giving, delivering his heart as he leads me this morning. The blessing is here. And it's not half. It's not some. It says it's, it's all here. Hallelujah. It's not some of it. It's not half of it. It's not a quarter of it. It's all here. It's all here. And this is the scripture of the Lord. And as I was, you know, worshiping the Lord earlier, he just opened my, my spirit to a, to a scripture. And I'm going to read that very quickly. And we'll just worship and just pray. Thank you, most high God. Sweet Jesus, thank you. Thank you, Lord. I never envisaged this kind of things. All I did was to start as the Lord told me to start. And the Lord is just taking, you know, he's, he's just moving in dimensions that, you know, I, and I'm just grateful to God. I'm just grateful to God. I am just grateful to God. Amos chapter 9, 11 to 15, the message translation. Amos chapter 9, 11 to 15, the message. I'm going to start from 11 to 12. But also on that judgment day, I will restore. Somebody say, our God is restoring me. <laughs> oh my God. Shalabaya. Glory to Jesus. But also on that judgment day, I will restore David's house. Put your name there. I will restore Rhoda's house. Kalabashelekete. Yes, thank you, Bish Pastor Johnson. Ode Shola. Yes, yes. Thank you so much, Bishop Drama. You are amazing. Yes, yes. If I, that thank you so much <laughs> he spent and i took that word you know that prophecy was for me because i knew what i was going through at the time and i almost did not make that con that convention because of the pain that i was going through crisis in my life at the time major major crisis that was going to silence me that was going to crush me and I probably wouldn't be here today. Hmm. Oh my God. Thank you so much. Yes, God is restoring me. God is restoring you. He says, I will restore Rhoda's house that has fallen to pieces. I will restore your house. My, and, hey, my God, Shalaba. Thank you, Lord. That has fallen to pieces. Things may be looking like your life does not, your, the puzzles are not coming together. Your life is, things are not making sense. So much has happened, has broken you, and it seems like you're trying to build your life back. You're trying to put yourself together. You're trying to, you know, you know you're, you're trying to figure out where your life is going to go from this point because all you see is pieces of everything you know project that you did that you you started you stopped visions that you were pursuing you stopped they're just left over everywhere things happened in your life and it messed up so many things and it seemed like you're trying to build the light back all over again god is saying i will restore david's house I will restore the house of my daughters and my sons that has fallen to pieces. I don't know what has fallen to pieces in your life. I don't know what has fallen to pieces in your home. I don't know what has fallen to pieces in the body of Christ. But God, but God, by the word of the Lord, by the word of the Lord, by the word of the Lord, by the word of Jesus, there is restoration. 
There is restoration. There is restoration. There is restoration in my family, oh God. There is restoration in the family of Gabriel. There is restoration in the family of 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 you know Baris the favor. There is restoration in the family of Bishop Drummer. There is restoration. Oh, there is restoration in the family, in the lives of your sons and daughters. God says, I will repair the holes in the roof. There are holes in our destinies that were, they were punched by the trials that we went through. By the pains people caused us. Some we caused ourselves by decisions that we took. And so these things in the realm of the spirit has punched holes. You know, you're like a house. You know, we're like likened to a house. And there are holes in the roof. There are holes in the roof of your destiny. God is saying, I will repair those holes. I will repair those areas where you've been aching. And you know what holes do? Holes exposes you. Holes allows things that should not come into your house to begin to come into your house. Kai. Maleke basataya. God is saying, I will repair the holes in the roof. I will repair those, I will repair, I will repair your hearts. I will repair your marriage. I will repair your, 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 your home. I will repair that relationship. I will repair your health. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. You see, the Lord is reminding me of something he told me yesterday. I saw the word healing. And, I, and, I, and God was telling me yesterday, I'm going to be healing people on the altar today. Now, I didn't remember that earlier until now. This is how God speaks. Like, it came to me like as light, healing. Holy Spirit, I bless you. I worship and adore your name. He's healing people. I'm repairing your heart. I'm repairing the holes in your roof. I'm repairing you spiritually. I'm repairing your, your, your I'm, I'm fixing you up. He says, I'm replacing the broken windows. I'm healing those areas where you've been broken. Kai, Holy Ghost. I'm healing. I'm replacing broken windows. I'm fixing it up like new. Uh -huh. This month of February, what God is going to do will shock you. Get ready. I, I don't know what it is, but I speak as a vessel of the Almighty God. What God will do in your life will shock you. Will shock the people that said you will not amount to anything. Will shock the people. Will shock the enemy. Will shock the kingdom of darkness. I am about to fix you up like new. God is fixing me up like new. Somebody say, God. Is fixing me up like new. Kalabasha. I'm going to go to verse 13 and 15. Verse 13 to 15. Oh, yes, indeed. It won't be long now. God's decree. Things, somebody say things, are going to happen so fast. Somebody say so fast. <laughs> Kai, Holy Ghost, help me, Jesus. Things are going to happen so fast by the workings of the Holy Spirit. This is why you must continue to tarry in His presence. Stay in His presence. Soak in His presence. Because the more you long and you, you, you seek after His heart, the more you desire Him, the more you pursue after what pleases Him, the more he will cause things to follow you. You're not running after things. You are chasing his heart. Things will follow you. The, 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 the blessings will follow you. Because he said it in his word. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow you. He didn't say surely you will follow goodness and mercy. Kai. Things are going to happen so fast. Your head will swim. Rhoda. 
I'm claiming this word for you. <laughs> when I claim this word for yourself, things are going to happen so fast. Your head will swim or somebody say to swim or okay. Holy Ghost. One thing fast on the heels of the other. You won't be able to keep up. Rhoda, you won't be able to keep up. Holy Ghost. I'm feeling your I'm feeling something overwhelming right now. The glory of God. <laughs> you know when it starts happening like this, you know, you know. Kalaba. Yes, so it's we <laughs> hey shalaba. Your head will swim one thing fast on the heels of the other. You won't be able to keep up. Everything will be happening at once. My God. Ask somebody, look, just after, ask yourself first, are you ready for what God is about to do? Now, doesn't mean that the enemy will not try to create situations but god says i'm not the one behind the things that you see that are negative it's the devil and then people begin to blame god that god you are behind all these negative things no god is not behind those negative things that's the reason why even when the plagues and all the things are happening in egypt the children of israel were safe the safe place to be is in his presence Things may be happening around, but stay in his word. Stay in his presence. Because God has promised that he will never leave us nor forsake us. And so even in these last days, in these end times, where so much is happening around us, God is saying, stay in my presence. This is the reason why he called this, he told me to start this altar. Because there is, he, wants, he wants us to desire and to tarry soak in his presence we receive all that he has for us and we can set out unstoppable unmovable fulfilling the, the purpose of god for our lives in spite of the challenges of life he says you won't be able to keep up everything will begin to happen at once are you ready for what god is about to do and everywhere you look, the Bible says, blessings. Somebody say blessings. Everywhere I look, oh, blessings. Blessings. Like wine. Pouring off the mountain and hills. Like wine. Pouring off the mountains and hills. And it says, I will make everything right again for my people Israel. I will make everything right again for Rhoda, Joseph. I will make everything right again for my sons and my daughters. I will make everything right again for you, his children. I don't know what has been damaged in your life. I don't know what has been messed up in your home, in the body of Christ, in the nations. But by the mercy of God, God is saying, I will make everything right again. But you must tarry in my presence. You must seek my heart and do my will. You must trust me, saith the Lord. You must love me and not, you must love my presence and not the presence. Many of us are after the presence. We reject his presence. Mm. I say that again. Many of us desire the presence. And we do not want to stay in his presence. We are after the presence and not his presence. God is saying, seek me. Seek my heart and I will give you my all. You are not seeking him for what he's going to give to you. You are seeking him because he is God. Hallelujah. Malaka shete kalaba shete. I will make everything right again, saith the Lord. I will make everything right again, saith the Lord. Can you lift up your hands and just begin to say, Father, thank you for your word. 
Thank you for your word. Thank you for your word. Thank you for your word. We receive it with joy. We receive your word this morning. In Amos chapter 9, verse 11 to 13 to 12. And then verse 13. Verse 14. You know, I think I stopped around verse 14 or verse 13, actually. I just want you to lift up your hands and say, Lord, I thank you. I just want to bless you because of who you are. I bless you because you are forever my God. I bless you, Lord. I bless you because you are faithful. Thank you for the release of your word this morning. Father, let this word, let this word manifest. Let it, let there be an instant manifestation. Oh, the glory of the latter is greater than the former. The blessing is here. What you've been praying for is here. Rabo selekete. It's all here. Oh, there's an overflow. Abundance of favor. Abundance of blessing. It's a new level. Rabo. It's a new level for me. It's a new level for you. Thank you, Father. Thank you. It's a new level for the body of Christ. It's a new season. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for the overflow of your joy. For the over, overflow of your peace. Thank you, oh God, for the abundance of your blessing. We have taken over. We take our place in you, oh God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I see the nations coming to me to receive answers from my lips because, because I'm, I am a shining light. Shining house on a hill. My greatness, your greatness, the greatness of the body of Christ cannot be hidden. The greatness of of Nigeria, of BVI, of the nations of the of Canada cannot be hidden. The greatness of God's sons and daughters will no longer, can no longer, shall no longer be hidden. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. You are shining ah, as a house, like a house on a hill, for your greatness can no longer be hidden. Ah, Jesus, thank you, Jesus, thank you, Jesus. Because what God is about to do is beyond your wildest dream. Yes, it's beyond my wildest dream. It's going to be your reality. It's my reality. Yes, Lord. Thank you for your word. Thank you for the sound that you've given us this morning. We are grateful, Holy Ghost. Uh, we receive the blessings of the sound. Uh, we receive it, oh God, uh, as we have come to tarry in your presence. Uh, let the word of God that you have given to us this morning, oh God, uh, begin to take root in the hearts of men. Uh, Amos chapter, chapter, chapter 9, verse 11 to 15. Let your word begin, oh God, uh, to, 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 to manifest in the lives of your children, in our families. It's a new season. It's a new day. Malika Koshete. It's a new level. There's an overflow. Abundance of favor. Abundance of blessing. Rabaku Selekatea. For the Bible says in Psalms 102, verse 13. Rabba Sekete. Rabo Shekete. Rabba Sekete. Maribo Seka Lokata. I will arise and have mercy upon zion for the time to favor her yea the set time is now the time to favor you yea the set time is now oh god we thank you rabba sikaloshkete you're walking in abundance we are walking in miracles rabbo selekete we are walking in abundance moving with the speed of the holy ghost i decree speed on your feet speed on your feet Speed on your feet. Raku, you are favored. You are blessed. 
Rekerebelekete de Beshka, Rabo Zilekete, Rababa Babalekete, Raba Zilekete, Malo Zikata, Make Baba Baba, I am blessed and walking in abundance, Rabaku Kelekete, I move with the speed of the Holy Ghost, Rako Zebelekete, Malika Kuzekete, I am favored, Boka Kaka Liba Baba 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 Baba, Malaka Kuzekete. Open your mouth and declare the word of the Lord. God is fixing me. God is fixing me up. Rabo Sekete. God is making everything right again. God is dazing my enemies. God is surprising me. Yes, yes, yes. The word of the Lord came to us that in this month is the word of the Lord came in my church. That it is the month of ple- divine pleasant surprises. God is about to divinely surprise you. God is about to divinely surprise me. Beginning from today, what I see right now, God just showed me. He said to me, even as you step out of your door, beginning from now, I just saw the realm of the spirit. Even as you are stepping out from your door, and so it begins from now, wherever you are, it begins right now. What God has said begins is right now you begin to hear news you begin to hear things things that you prayed for and you have even forgotten God has said I will visit you I will do them because I am your God I will fix all things I will make all things new in your family God has said I will restore you on every side thank you Jesus Oh, God, I bless you. Oh, we bless you, Father. We love you, Jesus. And so, Father, we thank you. We love you. Not because of the things that you do, but because of who you are. And so, Father, we are grateful. We are grateful for your word. And so, Lord, we speak over the nations of the earth. Let, oh God, let the hearts of men come back to you. Let the hearts of men return to you, God. Oh, we pray for your mercy over the nations of the earth. We pray for your mercy over Nigeria. We pray for your mercy over the British Virgin Islands, over the Commonwealth of Dominica, over Canada, oh, over America, over Australia, over Africa, over Europe, over Antarctica. Father, let your mercy reign, Jesus. Mercy, your God, on the body of Christ. Father, have mercy. Have mercy upon your sons and daughters. We cry out to you today that my God, your mercy will deliver us from the snow of the Father. My legate shatter, rabo my God, your mercy is restoring the church. Your mercy is delivering us from the clutches of the enemy. Oh God, the ch- yes, thank you, Holy Ghost. Uh, the, the, this word just came to me right now. That the church is marching on. The gate of hell shall not prevail. The church is marching on. The gates of hell shall not prevail. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you because Father, you build your church and the gate of hell shall not prevail. Lord, we bless you. Lord, we thank you. We appreciate you. Lord, we receive your word this morning and we are grateful. Thank you for revival. Oh God, according to the word of the Lord, Rabo Selekete, the earth is full of your glory. Let the glory of God begin to saturate the earth. Let the glory of God begin to fill the earth. As the waters covers the sea, we stand in the gap for the nations, O God. Let nations come to your light. Let nations come to the truth. Yes, Lord, bring them to the truth. Bring them to the truth. We pray for nations. Bring them to the light of your word, to the light, the truth in your word. Kaka, they have been kept in darkness, but now they are coming into light. Father, we pray for the nations. Let your revival begin to break forth in every nation. Let your revival begin to break forth in every nation. Like the days of Noah, 
let your revival begin to break forth in the nations of the earth in the heart of your sons and daughters let the revival begin to break forth in the name of jesus for these are the days of your power the bible says in acts chapter 1 verse 5 you are baptized you know i, I believe we're baptized with let me read that very quickly acts 1 verse 5 yes you are baptized with water but in a few days from now you will be baptized with the holy spirit in other words in a few days in in um, any moment from now and even right now there is going to be such an outpouring of the holy spirit baptism of the holy ghost Joel chapter 2 verse 28 in the last days i'll pour out my spirit upon all flesh these are the days of his power these are the days we have been waiting for father we thank you thank you jesus not many days from now not many hours from now not many minutes from now oh god let the holy ghost the spirit of the living god oh god baptism of the spirit be poured out over the nations be poured out over the nations of the earth holy ghost thank you jesus thank you jesus my god we bless you revival is breaking forth revival is breaking forth revival is breaking forth jesus christ revival is breaking forth revival revival like the days of azusa Revival is breaking forth in the churches, in the, in, in the hospitals, in the homes. Revival is breaking forth in institutions, in the schools. Revival is breaking forth in the homes. Thank you, Jesus. We worship you, God. We glorify you, Jesus. Thank you, Most High God. We give you all the glory. We give you all the praise. Thank you for this moment of soaking your presence. Our lives will never be the same. We honor you forever. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' precious name, we have worshipped. Amen and amen. Thank you so much, family. Thank you for joining me to soak in his presence this morning. God bless you exceedingly. God bless you greatly. Thank you. We'll see you again tomorrow. We we'll meet again on this at this altar, same time tomorrow, five thirty, Eastern Time, eleven thirty West African Time, seven thirty British Virgin Islands Time, wherever the time would be, wherever you are. Um, I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow, um, at the same time on this platform, and continue to bask in the presence of the Lord. God bless you. I love you, and so continue to love on him continue to bask in his presence remain blessed i'll see you tomorrow by god's grace god bless you bye